Hello and welcome back to the another video of Python Open PY Excel. We have already seen three different videos before this video, and in today's video, we are going to see how can we apply style to Excel using Open PY Excel. And first, we first we are going to see how can we apply background color to one cell in Excel using Open PY Excel. And using Open PY Excel, how can we apply color to entire row, entire row, or entire column of Excel sheet? We will also see how can we apply border to one cell, or how can we apply border to entire row of Excel. And then we will also see how can we change the text color, or how can we change the font color in Excel using Python Open PY Excel. We have already seen three different videos in Open PY Excel. So if you are new to my channel, subscribe to the channel and watch those videos and upcoming videos also. And if you like the content of this video, I request you to hit the like button because one like is very big support for a YouTube channel. And these are the upcoming videos on Open PY Excel. So conditional formatting we will see in next video. And then we will see how to create different kind of chart in Excel using OpenPY Excel. All right, so let's start today's video. So this is the code from last video where we have used, where we have seen how to apply formula and how to apply calculations. Now in this project, I will add a new file. And if you don't know how to use Python, how to use PyCharm, there is video number 95 on my YouTube channel. You can have a look on that. You will understand how to create the environment for new project and how to install libraries and how to write your scripts. So here we are going to see this style to Excel. All right. I'll just minimize this part. So we need three things. One, we have to use OpenPY Excel and then workbook we require and we require. And then we have to import from OpenPY Excel the color and the pattern fill. So you can see here and it will be visible when we will use these libraries. It is faded right now because we are not using them. So now first of all, we have to load our Excel into a variable. So here I am putting the code to load the Excel. So this is the data sheet. We have to work on data sheet cells. So the first thing that we are going to see how to apply color. So to apply color, we will use pattern fill and in pattern fill, we are giving this parameter value, color parameter value. You can give any HTML color code here. You can have a look in Google and you can just type the color code or you can write white green, yellow, red, if you want to use direct color. And then there are fill, there is fill type. We are using solid here. And there are other types also. So for that, I will mention the link where you can see all of this information, like which all values are available. So I have inlined this code. So once we have this red fill or you can give any name to this variable and then you can apply it to cells. So here you can see I am applying to A1 cell or let me just write C, C1 and this red fill I am applying and then I am saving the file. If you want you can write the result in the same file but I am writing in a different file for now. Let's just save it and run this much of code how to apply color to a cell. Let's just go. So here is the output file. Here is the output file. So you see the color is applied here. All right. So I am writing uh, the file from some other file. So whatever changes we are doing, when we will write, old changes will be overwritten. So don't get confused by that. Now, how can we apply this background color to complete row? So for that, what we have to do, we have to loop on each cell. 
so to loop on each cell what you can do is just before you are saving it here and we don't need this line so we just comment it and then i will just paste so i am going to apply on I am applying to row number 6 if you see here. So you can see the color is applied to entire row. Okay, now how to apply the background color to entire column. So you just have to do A and A. Alright, so it will just go to complete range and change the background, background color of the excel column so where is the open py excel output here so you can see open py excel code has changed the entire color of this column and if you want to start from some cell then what you can do is you can just give the range here and then it will be applied to that, that range only all right and i will let you to Try that yourself. So now we have seen how can we apply uh, background color. All right. If we have to apply the font color also, then what we can do? So we have to create a new font and using font. So if you can see here, it is these libraries are getting highlighted. So when I now now I am using so now we are using font. So you can see font is highlighted here. In font there are attributes that we have to pass. Okay, so this is how you can change the font color, font color using open py excel. Now how will you apply to this range? So same thing, you have to just give the range here. And then cell dot font is equals to my font. Let's run and see if this open py excel code is able to apply color to text. I will open this file. Okay, so you have this color applied. And you can just change the size and everything uh, as per your requirement. I have just taken this for example. Now the third thing and the important thing that sometimes we require border also. So in border it is little uh, tricky. So what you have to do is you have to first create the border attributes. Okay, and we have to import border. This is not required from open pyxl dot styles import borders so first we have to create the borders so here i have created thick you can apply thin thin also or if you want to use other attributes for that you have to go through the document but the basic idea is here so i have created two different type of borders here the one is thick with this color and another one is with no color so what we can do is we can use this color for example border style is none so, so this is just now the style created by open py excel so to use this border style in open py excel we have to apply the border So here I have added one more line, my border. So on the left side border 1, right side border 0, bottom side border 1 and here also border 1. Let me just do this way, I will keep it as. So you have to apply the border to all the sides of the cell. Okay, now if you, you can apply directly this to a cell, writing the cell reference like this. And then you can write border attribute here. 
let me tell you just this way. dot border equals to my border so it will be applied only that particular cell let me just close the okay so this is only for one cell let me just run this and see so now let's see if open p by excel could apply the border or not in the output file it is on c1 so you see the Border is there. Okay. Why it is not coming on top and side? Because we are not, we have not given. Now let's change this thick to thin. Okay. And this border one, let's use all across same border. Okay. And then this is for one cell. How can you apply border to one cell? Now, how can you apply border to all cells? So here, how can you apply border to entire row? I will run this code and let's see if open py excel is able to apply the border or not. So we hope you can see the entire code on your screen. I have run the code. I will show you the output now. Open PY Excel border. So you see this end, this is applied here. You are not able to see it. Let me just try one more time on number four. Alright, so this is the final run of this code. Have a look. You can hold the you can pause the video. Have a look on this code. So you can see the border is applied here also. All right. For further exploration, what I am doing, I am just leaving the uh, link of the documentation, open py style documentation. This is the link right now on your screen. And if you want to see the page, this is the page working with this style. So you can just go in detail and understand more from here. All right. So I hope this video was useful for you. For more videos, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button if you have not done yet. That is a real help for a YouTube channel. And let me know your feedback in comments. How was the video and what all topics we can cover. Thank you very much for your time. Happy learnings.